I wanted to do a video about the boxing match that never happened. And that's regarding a challenge between Joe Weider and Bob Hoffman of York Barbell. Bob Hoffman and Joe Weider were the two big names vying for control of the physical culture industry. Both throughout their lives had their own publications. Weights and fitness equipment, both would go on to market the first supplements geared towards weightlifters and bodybuilders. Before Joe Weider came on the scene, Bob Hoffman with York Barbell and Strength and Health magazine was the main guy promoting weightlifting and physical culture. Weider could not get into the position he wanted with weightlifting at the time because Hoffman and AAU controlled it in the Mr. America contest. Weider decided to shift his attention and promotion more towards physical conditioning, aesthetics, and bodybuilding, whereas Hoffman was very much weightlifting and Olympic style lifting focused. It wouldn't be until 1964 with Hoffman launching the magazine Muscular Development that he decided to compete with Weider in bodybuilding as public interest and focus was moving in that direction. Joe Weider and Hoffman also differed on political and societal outlook. Hoffman, who was a World War I vet, represented the America of traditional values whereas Weider embraced the more liberal counterculture. This would lead to mudslinging from both sides throughout the decades. The Weider camp insinuating Hoffman was a Nazi and the Hoffman camp insinuating Weider was a red commie. The feud would go on for years until Weider would overtake him as top dog and win the muscle war going into the 1970s. Bob Hoffman would fade into the sunset with old age and would eventually pass away in 1985. After both men had attacked each other in their publications, much like people do on Facebook today, a challenge in 1951 was issued by Joe Weider, who was 20 years younger than Bob Hoffman. Weider issued a challenge to Hoffman for a weightlifting and physique contest. Both men would have to go up against each other in feats of strength and then be judged on their physique. Hoffman ended up accepting Weider's challenge, but Hoff Hoffman wanted to sweeten the deal and add in a boxing match. Hoffman clearly wanted an opportunity to beat Weider with his fist, as I am sure he was angered by this up-and-comer trying to usurp his position and also by the things Weider had printed in his magazine. This challenge was never accepted by Weider and it was eventually forgotten. What would have happened if Weider had accepted the challenge? One can only guess, but I personally would have expected Bob to win the lifting event, Weider to win the physique contest, and Bob to win the boxing match. Thus, he would be besting Joe in two out of three events. This would actually be quite a unique contest to combine all three events and very interesting to think about who would have won. In my previous video I did, just for fun, imagining if there had been a bodybuilding video game, um, which I will put a link to in the description, the Muscle Quest contest is actually similar. Feats of strength, bodybuilding, and then ending in a fight. Hoffman at this time was 53 years old he, and was six foot two and was still lifting. Weider was 31, um, which made him about 20 years younger and 5 foot 10, and by bodybuilding standards probably did have the nicer physique than Hoffman, since that's what he trained for. So the physique contest I would definitely give to Weider. Um, Hoffman was a World War I vet, as I mentioned before, and I would give him the aggression edge uh, and he also had prior boxing exp experience during the war. And he also tried to launch a York boxing team at one time. So he was no stranger to the sport of boxing, which is probably why he issued such a challenge. So I would give Hoffman the edge in weightlifting and boxing and Weider the edge in physique. Weider being the younger man and training more for bodybuilding. So... Two out of three, even despite Joe, uh, uh, Joe's youth, um, 
advantage, I would give Hoffman the overall win. I think Hoffman probably would have hammered Joe pretty good in a, in a boxing match. And um, I don't believe that if Hoffman had won that challenge, it would have changed the overall outcome of things. So I think Weeder and bodybuilding still would have came out on top as Hoffman was destined to age out and Weeder would overtake him. Um, I think that win for Hoffman, though, it would have given him plenty to write about at the time in his magazine, would have given him plenty of bragging rights, and I think it probably would have resulted in more people at the time subscribing to Hoffman's magazine over Weeder. Uh, but I think uh, it would have been a short-lived victory. Um, the fun, the fascinating thing is, and a fun fact is, that Weeder did actually enter the 1951 Mr. Universe contest in London, and he placed nearly last. He had a very poor showing. He failed three times on a 200-pound barbell lift, drawing some remarks from the crowd because he had failed three times. But he finally hoisted it on a fourth attempt and then did uh, two deep knee bends. And Weeder, despite the poor performance, though, I think, deserves credit for entering and attempting and um, trying to show that he did practice what he preached. Uh, if you want to learn more about the Hoffman and Weider feud and the history of physical culture, the two best books that I have found and can recommend are Muscle Town USA by John D. Fair and Muscle Smoke and Mirrors Volume 1 by Randy Roach. Let me know in the comments who you think would have won the competition between Joe Weider and Bob Hoffman had it actually went down. Thanks for watching and please like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video.